This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. We really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button. That's the bell icon in the corner. I'm a big Deontay Wilder fan. He's one of my favorite fighters, and I'm going to continue to support him. Wilder's my guy. But his lack of accountability is very alarming. He has relied on power and being an exceptional athlete his whole entire career. He hasn't really cultivated his skill set. He has poor footwork, um, uh, subpar defense. He doesn't know how to parry a jab, nor does he know how to hold the phone on his shots. And when an opponent's punching at him, he really doesn't know what to do. And it, Saturday caught up to him because Tyson Fury had the perfect game plan. Put on extra weight. And just walked him down and just beat him up. He held, scrapped, scratched, clawed, just got dirty with him. And it wore Deontay Wilder out and he stopped him. So instead of Wilder internalizing, looking in the mirror and figuring out what he did wrong in training camp and all these years that he can avoid this and he can come back and beat Tyson Fury, he makes excuses. First excuse was the Cosmo, right? It is not a good idea to walk out to the ring before a fight in a 45 pound costume it's not good for your legs his trainer shouldn't allow that but at the end of the day that was your decision bro you shouldn't have brought it up next Fury got dirty with him hit him with a rabbit punch he sure did right I've seen Wilder hit people with rabbit punches Fury got uh, Fury held you choked you all that get dirty back hit him with a nut shot elbow forearm they teach you that early in the gym. Somebody gets dirty with you, get dirty right back. They'll stop. The only way Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua is he has to change. He can't just rely on what's been getting him by the last 10 years. It will not work. But more important than that, he has to be willing to change. And the only way you're willing to change is if you see fault in yourself and right now he's not seeing fault in himself and it has me worried somebody needs to step in i'm not happy with his team i feel like he has a team full of yes men i feel like somebody whether it's al Heyman or um, a hall of fame fighter like lennox lewis evander holyfield uh, george foreman sugar ray leonard needs to sit him down and make him come to grips with it's him it's on him. He's the problem. Now, I hold his team accountable too. Because a lot of people want to absolve Mark Breland. Nah, he's complicit. Because you were there. You, you took that check. And you and JDs haven't done a good job with him. You have actually enabled him. You have relied on his power to bail him out. And haven't really worked on his skill set. Now, if he's not listening to you. Well, then he should find new trainers because it's your job to make him listen. It's your job to prepare him for war. And you haven't. He was not prepared for that fight. And it's on him and it's on them. But, you know, now that, that doesn't matter. You already lost. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to go in there with the same one, two, the same sloppy footwork, the same sloppy hand placement? Or are you going to start from scratch and hone your skills and show up as a different Deontay Wilder, one that Tyson Fury isn't ready for? Now, I think you can do it. I think Wilder can do it. But you got to be willing to. And making excuses and not holding yourself accountable for that loss isn't a good start. But we will see, man. That's still my guy. I still believe in him. But I need to see more. I need him to take accountability for what happened. Before I go, I'm going to send a shout out to one of my sponsors, MyBookie.ag. Best internet gambling website there is, bar none. MyBookie.ag. Better than Bovada, better than FanDuel. Click the link in the description box. You won't be disappointed. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Deontay Wilder can bounce back? Do you think he needs a new trainer? Or do you think he should stick with the way things are? Why is some sports media? I'm out.